Welcome to GolfDestination.tv, I'm Grace Dzlinski. We're here today at Lake Winnipesaukee Golf Club. And while it's a relatively new golf club, it's already established itself as one of the premier golf courses in all of New England. And its founder, Bernard Chu, was gracious enough to take me on a tour of his beautiful facility. Welcome to Lake Munipasaki Golf Club. We are now on the first tee and looking at a golf course. Absolutely gorgeous, spectacular. But I will admit that I'm a little nervous about my tee shot. This is kind of intimidating. I think you're gonna get a birdie here. <laughs> we'll see about that. Yeah. <laughs> The first hole actually is quite unique. It had 140 feet drop in elevation. Yeah. So when we stand in a tee, you pretty much see the whole hole. And the ball just goes a long way. And it's a very unique hole in the golf course. And um, in the year, in the last three years when we host the New England Open, some player came and they said, wow, this is a really short hole, easy one. And, and a lot of them get a seven really? and an eight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Were you very active in the process of designing the course? Uh, yes, uh, I was. I worked with Clive Clark uh, very close together. And Clive is a, is a British, uh, happened to live in California. Okay. And we, uh, we played golf and we became friends. And when I uh, purchased this uh, land, I was looking for a designer. And as you can probably tell, I have an accent. Yeah. So I felt it's important to hire an, a designer who has some essence too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And we work very well together. Yeah. Have yeah. you been playing golf your whole life or when did you develop an interest in it? Actually, I started playing when I uh, uh, sold my first uh, company, Duracraft, and okay. I retired and I played golf and I developed a passion for golf. So I thought that it wouldn't hurt to develop a couple of golf courses. Right. Yeah. Well, what made you choose this area of Lake Winnipesaukee? Well, it's a beautiful area, and what really gets me excited about is the, the land. It's a very unique piece of land with, with all the mountains, and every, everywhere you turn, it's a different scene, different scenery. That's really uh, what got me excited about. What's your favorite sport to watch? Um, I like to watch basketball. Okay. Yeah. And sometimes football. Yeah. Okay. What's yeah. your favorite sport to play? To play? I, I play golf. Okay. Yeah. So my goal is really to build a premier golf club that is for serious players. We also want to make sure the cost is playable to everyone. And I'm very proud to say that as we look at the golf course today, uh, it really has become a premier golf club in New England. What makes this club so special, in addition to the design, the golf course and the setting, is really how we maintain the golf course. When it's in season, uh, the ground is very dry and the turf is very healthy and we use a lot less water and a lot less chemical. As a result, the golf course plays real well and very fast. Nice shot. Thank you, Grace. Uh, this is hole number four, 
happened to be our first path three. It is also the most challenging path three in the golf course. Okay, so what did you do to help those of us who have a bit of a higher handicap be able to make this par? Um, what I did was I put a member's tee in a better line to the, to the, uh, toward the green okay. as compared to the uh, bad tee, the professional tee, they set right way back to the right and the player will have to carry the ball all the way over the bunkers on the right to the green. For those who are scratch golfers and want a little bit more of a challenge, they can still tee up from up there, right? Definitely. That's where they belong to. <laughs>